you set me free you make me whole shalom everybody i greet everyone in the name of the father take these headphones out shalom everyone i greet all of you in the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray you are all having a blessed day evening afternoon whatever time it is me and my family, we are blessed. We thank the God of Abraham, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the one who reigns in victory forever and evermore, who is gracious and faithful each and every day, whose grace and wisdom surpasses all man's understanding, whose arrow never misses when he shoots, whose hedge of protection never gets occupied or never, ever, ever overtaken by the evil principalities of darkness. And we thank him for that. I just can't small, small. I said, let's pray because you know what is happening in the world right now is a lot of evil things. There's a lot of wicked things. There's a lot of manipulation and wickedness going on that we have to stand up and speak the truth. I have to say three things before we pray. But anyway, let me welcome all of you first. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I just want to say, my brothers and sisters, don't wait for people with big names or churches to pray. You should all be praying in your homes. Pray for the whole entire world. If you look around, the devil is trying to manipulate this world in a way that all of us are falling for the tricks of the wicked instead of focusing on Jesus and fighting for what is good. I'll tell you one thing. First things first. This thing that is happening in America is sick. America is always up to some drama that is supposed to affect and fill the whole entire world. To all the people in Africa and in these other continents that are not in America, stop falling for the fights and the things that when America wants to go left, you people join anyhow. The devil is a liar. America does not run the world. America is a country or continent and there are people on their own. Just like Africa, Europe. I do not know because Europe, you don't matter to America. Africa, you don't exist to America. But why does America matter so much in you people's lives? Mind your own business. That's why I do not have time to talk about American rubbish. But one thing that I will say, when a madman, when somebody is saying something that is true in a society that is sick like America, it makes Kenya West look like a madman. But that's a madman speak a lot of sense and truth. And what I want to say to the black people in America it's always you people who is standing up against your own black people. This thing with this NBA is all of you black people that are always afraid of your bosses, your white people. And let me tell you one thing. Jewish people don't do no, no intimidation to us black people. If Jewish people are human beings, they should just think. They do not like what happened with the Holocaust. It is a very sad thing and a painful thing. But what Jewish people do to black people in the modern day and how Jewish people hate black people, it is the same as the Holocaust. You Holocaust us actually in the flesh. I just want to say that because a lot of Jewish people don't like black people. And it is a pretend that they laugh lies. People know it. But I don't understand why black people are afraid to say it. Let's speak the truth. Why are we never afraid to, go, to say the truth when it's supposed to be spoken? We speak the truth about Chinese being racist. Jewish people are not racist. They just hate black people. Period. And if you are going to get me in trouble. Let me get in trouble now for the truth. Shut up there. Self-hate and I kill yourself. You hate fellow human beings with the same blood. And that's why now when the tea become hot on your part. You are rallying the black people in America to fight against their own black people. Black NBA, you are useless black people. Please, God help us all. Keep these Americans who stand up for rubbish and keep quiet, who love nakedness and wickedness in broad daylight. I will still choose to have the African black people of Africa who are not the most intelligent or educa educated and they call them monkeys, but still they will stand up for what is right and still be human beings still have compassion and still stand for the truth and one thing that you have to remember this world is wicked it is always us the black people that they, they give us the, the the fruit and we go bite on our own it's not even about race but it's so sick it's only the black race where you will find black people eating their own black flesh why people don't eat white flesh 
Jewish people don't eat Jewish flesh. They are eating black meat. Now you be the black fool who they be eating together your own black meat. Idiot, go punish your generation. This is something I want to say. And then two, to all of us here, if you have videos and pictures of your children online, start taking them out on social media. You know why I say so? This is the advice from me as a woman of God looking at what is happening for wisdom. If you are famous here online and your children are online, the pictures, get them out now because the devil will use those pictures for evil. People are using children's pictures even when they die to parade on Facebook and social media to drag people, especially when a little boy dies and everybody has got access to his picture to spread it online. You know this generation is sick. Sick, filthy generation. Yes, I said it. Sick, perverted, filthy generation. You people with babies like me, Take your pictures out. If you are going to post pictures of your children, post things that you are together with your children. But don't make your children's lives be paraded here on Facebook. Because what the Lord was telling me said, you see these pictures you put. You put them up online when you are happy. You are showing people about your children. But look at how the devil don't care about your children. He using these same pictures of your children when they die. They are parading them on Facebook like it's a game. Let's be very careful, mothers. Start hiding your children. Because some people just need your children's picture to go to a shrine. To go and command evil principality. Let's be very aware. The devil loves it. Because here, this is his station. Mothers, I'm advising you, before calamity catch you, if any mother would know that my child will not live long, and people would take that same child's photo who died at a young age to parade it online, that mother would have not put it online. So to all mothers who still have ears, you women who are stubborn of this generation, bear yourself. Bear yourself. And that's why they got your children. Picture. Picture. Online has brought jealousy on your children. Devil is killing your children because he sees where they will go and their future and their light. Picture. 100,070 pictures of a baby, of a child. Online. Wake up. Oh. Wake up. Oh. God will protect that picture that you put with your family in truth and in spirit. Not this rubbish that we are doing. Everything you want put online. Everything you want put online. And if I were you, I would advise other people. You see me with my children on my back all the time. It's different thing. Mothers who come online here with little children, you are doing your rubbish. It be ignorance. If I was not serving God, I would never allow none of my children to come. That's why when engineer came to join me, he's praising and worshiping. Covered straight away. Because the enemy is a wicked one. The enemy is a wicked one and is after our children. These children you are putting online. You were looking from where did the witchcraft enter? How did they locate me? How did they get me? It's social media. Facebook. Instagram. TikTok. YouTube. You are putting children. Satan love it. You gave him though. You gave him leeway. And that's why last week I said trend, trend. The world is the evil, is the hell of all hell right now. And Satan just wants all of us to take part. Oh, you like to put long hair. Oh yes, how many inches? That's how we are all now belonging to marine kingdoms. That's how we have all opened doors to wrong eyes. You think you are the only one on Facebook here? Yeah? So if musicians can be on Facebook, apostles and prophets can be on Facebook, mediums and witchcraft and witch doctors can be on Facebook, are you that damn that you go put your child like that? And your enemies don't like you and they're seeing you people post on Facebook. Well, your enemy go destroy you by picture. Oh, yes, yeah, so. And we live in a world where they say, if you say picture can destroy, they say, eh, you're just talking like that. That's why I tell some people that your comment and your post of today is the hell of yours tomorrow because there is a way that seemeth right to man but leads to destruction. If you post it today, it's cute. <laughs> Having fun, enjoying life, chess, 
But tomorrow, it not be chezu when it's on a shrine. And some of you are not prayerful. The enemy knows that he does not need to be in your space to get to you. He does his wicked things where he's located. Remember, Satan cannot be in all places. The only thing that Satan needs to you is a point of contact, get opening and what belongs to you. And the only way you can allow Satan to come in your house, me, I know it. Makeup, wig is allowing Satan and evil kingdoms coming into my house. It's so innocently, it looks so easy. And that's how some mothers have killed their own children. Because you took part in something that looks oh, so easy. The same thing with women. They were saying African women are bleaching. You know, go, you know, go find out that they were not breathing. It is this cream they were saying that it got special power. Do as I say cream. Eh, do as I say power. Eh? So if all of these things can exist, what makes you think that if you are not a prayerful person, the devil will not get to your child? Wake up, oh. This world is not ours. We do not belong to it. We are passing journey. The things that can be left, that are found in this world, if they are taking too much of your time, you need to ask Jesus to help you. Wake up, oh, we are in a very wicked generation. Witchcraft is not in blood and scores. Witchcraft these days is in money, is in clothes, is in hair. That's the wicked things of this world. And the funny thing is that before Satan didn't know how to get to their doubts of the old days because they had wisdom and discernment. They had doubts of this generation. Remember, he allowed Jezebel to come in the house of the Lord before we knew it. Most of the adults of this generation are not spiritual. They are just normal people. They are actually more into technology and good life more than the younger people. The ones who are supposed to carry the wisdom. That's why Jesus is using children. They are post mornings. Because Jesus knows who. <laughs> if the old generation, they are fools and idiots. Who go tell the truth? Because this is a generation of fools and idiots. And they go get vexed. Yes. <laughs> so, I beg, if you're part of this generation, just ask for mercy for all of us in Jesus' mighty name. So what is happening? Satan has already convinced the adult. So the adult, they teach the children. Do you understand? The adults, they teach the children. And the adults have been emancipated and decapacitated to the point where they have no power. The children rule their adults because most parents make a low salary income than their child. So what can you say? If you don't hear it, forget about it. But it's time to pray. Time to put each other in prayers. And it's a shame that the devil doesn't want me to be online in these days. This is December. While the evil kingdoms are doing everything, Satan is working 24-7. Makeup and fake hair is selling. Fake niash and fake bum is selling. Vanity upon vanity. Wickedness upon wickedness. It is saved every day from morning to evening. Satan's agents, they don't miss. As the children of God, is either today we are so focused, next week we are lazy, that other week we are so focused, you better get your spiritual warfare play, prayer up and their life in prayer in truth and spirits because Satan is not playing with. <laughs> and because this generation who understand that Jesus will not save just my house alone. If he wanted me alone, then he could have just been telling me alone or saving me alone, hiding me alone. But because love, God loves everybody, he wants to save this generation. Those with ears, he will save them. And fools shall remain fools. That's the way it is. So, so Let's begin to just pray small prayer for the whole entire world with everything that is happening while I am putting my apostle to sleep. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, give you all the honor and the glory. We worship you, we magnify you, and we exhort you. We praise you, we thank you, we adore you, Father. We exhort your name and we lift you high. We just want to magnify and worship your name in this moment. We thank you, Jehovah Nisi. Lord Jesus Christ, we are grateful for your protection, your perseverance, Father my God, your grace, your goodness, and your mercy upon us. We are thankful for all you do and who you are. 
are in our lives, our nations, our cities, in us as people. We magnify you and we lift you high. We exalt you, we worship and, and magnify your name. We approach your throne and your court with all the thanksgiving for it is you, Father in heaven, who bears the burden of each and every one of us. We want to thank you for protecting us, Lord, for guiding us, for keeping us in peace, for preserving our lives, for marking us with the blood of Jesus, for sprinkling that blood of Jesus upon this generation, even when we do not deserve mercy. Grace after grace, mercy upon mercy, Father. Instead of us being destroyed, you have decided to shine your light so that our children may know you. We thank you, God, for that vow that you made, that commitment and covenant that until each and every living creature and soul gets to hear about the gospel of Jesus Christ, it shall not be yet fulfilled. Father, we thank you because it is not yet fulfilled, because there are still people who have not yet heard the gospel, and because of that promise, we still have a chance for this generation to be redeemed and restored through the blood of Jesus. As the Bible says that if my people that I've called by my name would just kneel down, bow down, open their mouth with their own tongue, confess and speak the truth, you, God, will forgive us and shine your light. You will restore our nations, our people, our homes, our marriages, our families, and our health. Father, we thank you for who you are. We give you the glory and the honor. We approach your throne to thank you. We thank you for always being the chief cornerstone, for being the one who is up in the night, never slumber, never sleeping, protecting Europe, America, Asia, protecting the Middle East, even right now, when the devil is busy rallying up this rubbish of the Jewish and the Jewish whatever, it is you, Jehovah Nisi, who is protecting, the one who bears her own name, white, black, don't matter, Jewish, don't even mean nothing, it is the name, Jesus Christ, that matters, and all of this rubbish that people cry for in this world shall all crumble and come to pass and no man shall ever say I was representing Jewish or rubbish. It will be the name above all name. And my Bible tells me that every knee shall bow down. Jehovah, it makes me glad because it is you who protects all of us, even the wicked so-called people who are gaslighters, who are sitting behind promoting hatred and wickedness, who have made riches and are eating on the skin, the flesh and the blood of the innocent and other people by putting out lies, manipulation. Oh Lord, I thank you because your eyes see from here to the heavens. There is nothing hidden in your sight. You see the things that are happening in the world. You know the manipulation and the wickedness and Father Jehovah Nisi as your daughter sometimes anger fills me, rage fills me, Father that the wicked ones have decided to do wicked and they've gotten away with it for a long time. But I know that no matter what, I at the mention of your name, every knee shall bow down and every mouth shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your preservation, your protection, your grace upon us. We thank you for being the true judge, the faithful one. Even right now when the devil is gaslighting and bringing evil upon the earth like some men do not belong on this planet, you, God, is the only one who is the finisher and the author and the finisher of our faith, the creator, the beginning and the ending. The only one who has the power, who knows what it is to create a human. It is you, Jehovah Nisi. Father in heaven, we worship your name. Adonai, we give you the glory because it is you who creates. It is you who make it. It is you who giveth and taketh. It is you who commands. It is you who allows. It is you who sees, beholds, and established everything. Lord, I give you the honor and the glory. I worship you because in times like this, when the devil is using us humans to fight one another and bring hatred and to use the manipulation gaslighting lies of game. Father, I praise your name because out of the same arrow of wickedness that Satan wants to use for this generation, there shall you amplify it and empower it. You shall send it back to the pit of hell where it emanated and it shall go six feet under and scatter and destroy all evil principalities that have been hidden in the ground, that have never been seen before because you will do great things in this generation for the sake of the children that you have given us, Lord. You said our children shall know you. Father, your kingdom belongs to our children. It belongs to those that trust and believe in you. We come before your presence this evening. 
to surrender everything that is happening. Father, there are so many wicked things that are happening. White people plotting, planning evil against black people. Jewish people manipulating cocaine, this, using groups of people to bring hatred and wickedness. Me as your daughter, I don't fear even when I preach here online, if all the Jewish community will get offended with me. Father, let them get offended with me. Here I stand in your presence with authority and power, humbling myself, fearing only you. I will call every man out, every man that is lying and pretending to be a good man when the wickedness emanates and starts and lives with them. That's why Jehovah Nisi, you shall repay every wicked soul, every wicked generation, and every wicked people, those that plot and plunder wickedness, they shall drink their own children's blood as wine, and they shall eat their own mother's flesh as meat, Lord, for the wicked things they have done. Jehovah Nisi, you know what is happening in the world. Starting to the people that are fighting the richest people because they are poor, they have no voice. Father, you know what is happening in the world. Manipulation, the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. The lies, Father my God, of people manipulating and lying, not to one pa person, Lord, but to a whole generation, to a whole nation, to a whole people, because they think that God is asleep. They think that God does not see them. They feel like God cannot do anything to them. They have made kingdoms and idolism and foreign gods important in this world. They are coming up with manipulation, changing sexuality, and manipulating children and people, turning them to things that are, they are not, and they think they are God, and they will get away with it. And in their thoughts, they think, who can stop them? My Bible tells me that, Father, no man shall ever go to the lane where you stand, because no man has ever seen God and came out. If any man has ever seen God before, in, in, in I by self, when I burn from the consuming fire, you cannot live because he's bright, he's light, he's holy, he's consuming fire. He's nothing that this world can handle. He's above principality and power above all. Father, I call upon you. I report with all the wicked things that are happening here, Father. This online, I am so ashamed, Jehovah Nisi, because this online is the most biggest criminal of all. This is where the liars put lies. And this is where the liars tell people when people speak the truth that it is a lie. This is where the lies have become true and the truth has become lies manipulating a whole generation sucking and devouring souls of young innocent people through the videos and the things they put online here sublimal messages and titling of things that they are emancipating from the pit of hell doing shrines and wickedness in broad daylight father my god illumination and ceremonies of rituals and evil activities where people think it is just tv and is part of life but deep lies the evil activities and the rituals that the devil is swallowing this generation every day. Father, I call upon you because there are certain things that are happening in this life that some people do not even have any power over, but souls are being sold to the devil on their behalf because this world has become so wicked, Lord. And because the wicked are want more money, they shall take more blood and flesh at the cost of their riches and their wealth. The wealth. I call upon you, Jehovah Nisi. Lord, arise and see what is happening in the world. Look at how the devil is destroying the whole entire world. We need your direction and your focus, Lord Jesus. We need your separation for the truth. We need the light of Jesus Christ to shine in this generation. We are so stuck. We do not even know which light is the true light of God. There are so many marine kingdoms. Even I, Father, every day I am learning something new because I am still attached to ways and things that I thought were of God, but it's not of God. And I call upon you, Father, to separate us completely because the name of God has been made into a joke now. It's about money instead being the name feared because it's the name above all names. Father, look at what is happening. The pastors, the apostles, the people of God who save you truth and in spirit, people who want to save you and spread the gospel, the right that you have given us as our inheritance. We are not even allowed. They are chastising and chasing us everywhere. Yet the wicked are allowed to sell and destroy a whole generation. 
I raise my petition and my request to you. Who sees the truth, Lord? Who knows how many monitoring spirits have been initiated from the pit of hell that have been monitoring children, marriages, destroying lives? Father, we need you. We need you, Lord. We do not want the, the money of the riches. My prayer, Lord, is that the rich people shall know who you are. The rich nations that have been wicked, including this country, Holland, where I'm staying. My prayer is that they will bow down and know who you are. Don't kill them, Lord. My prayer is that they will just feel the wrath, the wrath of the most great high. My prayer is that you shall whip them to their knees, that they will bow down. Because they have disrespected you. They have built a life based on lies and destroying other people. A selfish nation. Father, I call upon you to speak the truth. Because the reason why the poor are still being poor is because America, China, Asia, Middle East, and Europe are the wickedness of devil's children. They will never allow the light to come there. Because if they were not keeping wickedness, these nations, Lord, Africa would have taken part in greatness too. But the truth is that these are wicked people, Lord, that have never taken Africa serious. And because of that, it's not a must that they should help Africa. But my prayer is that these countries and nations, their children, their mothers, their fathers, sisters, brothers, they will know the truth under what light everything has been established in their land. Every innocent blood that has been put in the soil. Like you reminded Cain, Father my God, what did he do for the blood of Abel who is crying under the soil? May the blood of every innocent person, because they even go to Africa to manipulate the Africans. Great would be if they left Africa alone. But to destroy it the way they do, to steal and suck Africa's soul the way they suck it and still sit here and still want to do slavery in broad daylight. Father, the same blood that is on the soil, may it be the quenching fire that shall build your wrath against Europe, America, Asia and, and, and Middle East. Because the wickedness is too much. The lies and the manipulation, Lord. Father, do not forget the wrath that will come for these wicked people who allow wickedness and injustice to prevail in Africa. Remember every corrupted African leader, every man that decided to say yes on behalf of their nation for wickedness, injustice, corruption, poverty, and, in, and all of these unspeakable things, despicable wickedness things to happen. Don't forget those politicians, whether they come from the same soil. May the wrath of them be even in seven folds painful for the fact that they knew what they were doing but still decided to sell others. Lord, may you have mercy. Have mercy upon the nations that have opened the pit of gospel. I pray for Nigeria in this moment. That you will have mercy, Lord. Because Nigeria thinks they represent themselves to you in all glory. But one other side, that's why they say a man needs to use wisdom. For if you use wisdom, wisdom, she will love you, she will help you. The gospel they have built, Lord, it has become like a book. Just like mathematics, you can study mathematics minus and plus. I know this because you have said it. It doesn't please you. How they have empowered people not to know God on a personal level. To know God for miracles. To know God for money. To know God for prophecy and seed. And that's why they say a nation that stands dark on top of the roof does not even know when the rain is already inside. Father, have mercy. Have mercy for the doctrine that has been preached because most of us are not following the doctrine of Jesus Christ. We are following the doctrine not even of the true servants of God of Nigeria, but the fake prophets and papas who have made names around the world. If they were so great men of God, could not even raise one vessel to do the work of God in this generation in truth and in spirit. They've raised liars manipulators, perpetrators, and the gospel looks like a mathematics formula now. Anybody can crack it. When you cannot crack the spirit of God, Father, have mercy. 
Have mercy upon the nation. Have mercy upon all those gods that we are serving under the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yet behind the wickedness of the shrines, spitting out the name of Jesus Christ, but wearing the clothes of Lucifer. Have mercy, Lord, on those innocent ones that have just followed anyhow. Have mercy, Lord. Don't let Nigeria take the blame completely for the wicked gospel in Africa, which is nothing but rubbish. Instead, blame all of us because it didn't take just Nigeria alone. It took all of us. If we wanted to know God for ourselves, we would have seen you, Jesus. But the reason why we were attracted to the Nigerian gospel, Lord, is because we also loved money. I want to confess to you, my father, I like to talk truth. We also love money, Lord. The reason why we were following gospel of sowing seed and we wanted to know prophecy. The reason why we were attracted to this Nigerian gospel, it is not because of how Jesus could move. It was how people's lifestyles look, how rich people look. Our selfish desires took us to exactly where we were supposed to be. So for that sake, Jehovah Nisi, please have mercy and compassion on Nigeria. For let them not take the blame completely. For some of these people left their countries to go to that country for specifically shrines. So forgive us, Lord. And have mercy on those that knew that they were taking shrines and still coming back to their countries to parade witchcraft. And then now all our nations are filled with the same witchcraft. That the witchcraft is so powerful right now, which can never be more powerful than the greater power of God. The devil is a liar, for we shall triumph and overcome. But we need you, Lord, because the witchcraft and the lies is too much because we were all playing the same field. How can light and darkness mix? It can't. Father, forgive this generation. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Have mercy on the lies that we have told on behalf of your name. The miracles and the acts that have been done in your name, yet it is not you and you are never been in there. Forgive the false witnesses that have spoken against you. For no tongue or mouth ever speaks against you. No nation or land ever proclaims the false gospel and expects to be blessed. It's a lie. We accuse witchcraft and shrines. God cannot protect a nation and a land which bears shrines from the airport up to the last village in Equeo. Forgive us, Lord for actually even manipulating because some people they knew they were shrine holders but they come to innocent people like me with their shrines to try to initiate forgive those that are trying to initiate those ones especially the ones who know forgive them for carrying their their lomba their shrine their wickedness to want to go and infest it with others forgive them lord forgive this generation Forgive this generation of liars. We are liars, Jehovah. We are liars and you know it yourself. We are pretenders. We are so Holy Spirit filled and gospel people. Yet our marriages, our families and our homes, there is no love and forgiveness. We pretend and act. We don't live real life anymore. The internet has become our lives. Others are crying for their marriages and children and others are posting no sympathy. My Bible tells me that the good Samaritan, it was the love of Jesus in him that said, I will carry this man because Jesus does not leave us. If God would have left us just like that, this corona would have killed this whole entire world, especially Africa. I want to thank you. I want to thank you because Africa thinks she's part of the meeting boards with this European and, and the white people land. But Africa does not even know the real meetings of which the big boys do. I want to thank you because when they were planning and feeding each other vaccine, I want to thank you for the preservation you gave Africa. Because if you did not preserve her, now America and Europe would give Africa medication. Aid? No, devil is a liar. I thank you that the game we are playing here in this world is the game of the richest, but you are the richest king of all kings because you still speak for the poor.
I thank you for your truth that speaks the truth that even if I offend my husband and his people and the Jewish people in this world, you never care who is going to be offended. You speak the truth. I thank you because you shall call the Jewish people out of their wicked. You shall call all people and nations out of their wicked. I thank you because you don't shiver or tremble for no man. I thank you because you are truthful when you speak and when you justify. Now justify the be. Who else is like you? Please don't ever turn your back against this generation. For the sake of the five, six people who want to save you in truth and in spirit. Have mercy. We shall not stop with all your children around the world who are standing together. We shall not stop and every day we break one stronghold, we take out one barricade and we stand in the gap and spread the gospel and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to the whole world. One step at a time, we let the whole world know that you are the, the sovereign Lord and you will never forsake us. Do not turn your back against us. Do not take your Holy Spirit away from us. Restore Restore us to the people you wanted us to be in the first place when you created us. Restore us because I know when you rebuke, love shall prevail. Restore us, Lord. Rebuke this generation so that we can be restored in love. Help us to understand that this life is nothing compared to the internal life in you. For greater is paradise, more beautiful, where there is no sickness, where there is no Jew and white or black, where there is no gaslighting and lies, where there is no modern slavery, where you will never see no Jew do no nothing in music, but all they know how to do is make money on top of people like me. It's a lie. Because if they were so good, how come one, not even one of their people ever, ever go come out to do anything great here? They do great behind. With money, God, you are fair. Even the people who have died already, may you, may you collect justice for the people that have slavered and worked their whole lives to the point where they died and their families did not get anything, working for nothing. My Bible tells me, you said, a man who is lazy shall not, a lazy fool shall not eat. He will sleep without chops. For every man who is late, woman, who worked, yet their children did not get the chop, and somebody else is enjoying that. I pray for vindication. For every prisoner that has been locked up for life, I pray for vindication. Restoration in seven folds. For every person that has been clothed with an identity and lies from the pit of hell, including telling them they are a man when they are a woman or they are a woman when they are a man, may the devil be put to jail. May you vindicate them and speak for them. And for all those people who are poor, that life has never been easy for them, not because you wish, but because somebody else, they make sure that they are all be good so somebody else can suffer. May you remember them too, deservingly and accordingly, when you judge. Father, as we are walking on this earth right now, in this moment, with this holiday season that is coming up, I pray that you will begin to shake the shrines of the young girls that are online here in the night, doing cards and rubbish, opening gates of hell. I pray that you will shake their generation, that their mama total will know that you are not a God to play with. Father, speak the truth. Men are cowards and fools out here. Men are in groups, Lord. If you black, you can't speak against the black because of their wickedness. If you are white, you have to stand together with the white with their rubbish. Here I am, Jehovah Nisi. I do not stand for the black. I do not stand for the whites. Hell, God forbid, is not my portion. I do not stand for the Jewish, neither the Chinese, the Muslim, or anybody. I stand in your name, Lord. And every one of us who deserves to be wakad, waka our nations, scatter our children so we can know. Yes, Lord, because when you scatter us, we shall be restored to the right senses, to loving one another. There shall be a generation where it shall not be about black, white, Jewish, gay, or this and that. It shall be a generation of Jesus Christ. That intention that you made, 
I know that law. And that's why it pisses me off when human beings use one another to bring hate in people. When you, God, never created that in the first place. Because if you created all of this, my Bible tells me that when you created everything, it was perfect. It is always a man whose heart is, is, is deceitful and has been sent by the devil that comes to destroy Father, remove the men that want to bring evil and destroy wickedness. Remove all the men and women that want to destroy love amongst humanity and people in all mankind. Please, may you put shame to those people that are sitting in computers, in boardroom, in hospitals, in whatever platform and forum, office or toilet or house, wherever they are located, whatever their agenda is to separate human beings and bring people to hate one another. Father, may you begin to disgrace them and shame them in 12 folds as the number of your disciples, Lord. Tire them with their shame and disgrace so that your people, everything they are using to promote, to, 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 to do subliminal mind games and change people on who to love and who to gaslight, who to fire. Father, no man should fight no man here. For the oxygen is yours. This life is yours. Everything is yours. My Bible tells me that the earth is yours and everything in it the world and whoever lives in it you formed it upon the waters nobody else ever take that power father destroy every man and woman that wants to promote hate in mankind that is promoting wickedness every human being that has taken a vow especially those who know let them be treated according to what they deserve in your wrath in Jesus' name those that are busy sending evil, wanting others to hate each other, shatter them, Jehovah Shammah, in the name of Jesus Christ. And those that are bringing hatred unknowingly, shine your light, give us chances to know that what we are doing is wrong, so we can repent and stand in grace and love. Father, as men, I feel ashamed sometimes when I speak to you, my God. We are so ignorant and foolish. Look at how man thinks they are anything because they can build their house, we can drive car, we can breathe and wake up. We think we are all that. Yet they never, we never even go deep to think that this air, when I breathe, is yours. No one can ever take it or buy it from you. You give it freely. Man talks to you like you are nothing. Yet when morning starts until evening turns into night, it is your grace that walks with us. Forgive my generation for we do not know what we are doing. Technology, fashion and makeup and vanity became too wild. That Father, we forgot that a car can have an accident, get burned, it's finished. A house can be an earthquake, it can break, it's on the floor. Politicians get into power and get out. Races can be in power and they come out just like the Jewish are not going to be in power. This was their last year. Now Jesus said, if you want to be in power, oh yeah. Carry your own mama bikini. Go and make money from there. But you shall not make money from my children, says the Lord. Here on earth and in heaven, this is declared and established in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, arise. And some people will not like how I pray, Father. They will say I'm bitter and angry. Lord, how can I not be angry when men that have not created any life they have the power to run it, to take it away, to destroy it. That people have got the right to make others feel like they don't belong to live on earth because they hold money. If money was important, it should have been a requirement in heaven. I know that money is nothing, so I am not afraid of no rich man, no Elon Musk, no Jewish community, no Bill Gates. No, whoever they want to call them, let all these zaga zaga begin to come here and stand in the name of Jesus. And like I said here on life, if I stand in front of them, Lord, 
I will then say it louder. You have to empower me. I will jump on the face of the devil so that I can say it in his mouth with authority and power. Because this world has become more wicked. And people have become, they fear the world. They fear he that is in the world. They don't fear he that is in the heavens and rules over the whole entire universe. They fear he that can temper with the body. But they don't fear he that is able to, to seize breath out of his soul. Father, na man be useless, so. Na man will be foolish, Lord. Na man will be slow, slow motion in a way that is not good. You know, fight with our maker. You fight with your master. You fight with he that gave you numbers and years and days to live on this earth. On this earth. Who created you? You, you talk back. You challenge him. You do things like you will never see grave. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. For when we are plotting and planning all these things. I guess they, they listen to that stupid song. Forever young. Somebody lie that they will live forever young. <laughs> no matter how much blood you can suck and how many children you can try to enter to imitate, to be, come back again, to be reborn. Nobody will live forever young and nobody will live forever. My Bible tells me, heaven, it's everything go fed and go past. But one thing that shall remain is you, Lord. Just like in the beginning, there was nothing. It was your word. And your word was with you. And your word was you. And light came that darkness could not comprehend. So Jesus, even when it's dark for you, is not dark. Because the light you carry, <laughs> I wish we could understand. I thank you, Lord. Now me come to report to you. Not to joke around or to game around. And I come to do it here so that somebody else can join in this prayer. Because if I am affected by what is happening around the world then I know there are a lot of people that are affected by this. And I also know that there are a lot of people that want to change. Father, I pray for your grace. I pray for your mercy. I pray for your miracle. I pray for your goodness. And I pray that you will shine your light upon this generation and deliver us. Have your way. We surrender these prayers to you in truth and in spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will pray for your intervention. Save us and restore this generation. In Jesus' name, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Let me go. Apostle is sleeping. Papa Rokafela wants to watch this thing that he's watching. I was praying. I just heard one word that was funk. Papa Rokafela. Oh. Anyway, let me go, brothers and sisters. I'll see you people. Have a blessed night. May God bless all of you. Continue praying for one another. And as soon as I get the two new, I need two new iPads. I will not get phones because getting phones, the phones after two years, they, they do rubbish. But I need to get new two iPads. I need to get a speaker and I have the stand and I need a microphone. I want to start this Christmas. I pray that the whole December, we can have just prayer by scripture every day. When God provides everything that I need, we have to pray because the wickedness that is going on in this world Satan is relying on it that this generation when pornography and uh, uh, abortion, all of these uh, uh, trends, homosexuality, transgender, when all of these things are happening, he's bargaining on a generation that will not speak up and stand for the truth. If you have 10 more people promoting adultery and, 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 and Im sexual immorality and you have two people fighting against it, the 10 will win more than the two. We need more people that are going to stand up and speak against the injustice in politics, in marriage, in society, in race, in culture, in people. We need more people who are bored, who stand up and speak the truth. That's the only way Satan will lose. Because right now, he's so gullible on the generation that even when they click on the online and they see bad things, they don't do really anything about it. So Satan is, is priving. He's striving on that. He's really bargaining on, oh, you know what? This generation will not do anything about this. And that's why we are perishing more of us.
But by the will and the grace of God, I pray that before December, before next week, that I will be back online full force because the lies that I hear is to manipulate the whole generation. And if a whole generation is asleep and four people are speaking, what you think? May God bless all of you. Have a blessed evening. I'll see you guys again next time by the will and the grace of God. I don't know when that will be, but have a blessed night. Shalom. God bless all of you. And keep praying and speaking the truth. And if you think I'm a hate, I stand, speak like this. Let me tell you, I don't care what color or race you are. You can be Chinese or Jewish. Me, when I come to rebuke here, I don't care who your mama be. I rebuke and if I do something wrong, let the Lord come and correct me and tell me that this is not what I'm supposed to do. But when the Lord has given me authority to stand up for the truth and I see Satan using the all black community in America there to try to make you fight against one another. Let's see if the Jews will fight for you, the black people in America. I know be no racist. I just ask in truth. Will you see a Jew outside? That's why the Asians, when they started killing them, they asked, how come you don't work with us with Asian life matters? The Asian people were surprised. They told them, they said, we are not doing racist. It's just that when we are walking outside Black Lives Matter, we were crying for black people to, before Black Lives Matter came. Was there anybody Jewish or anybody Chinese there? No. So black people don't be snitches because snitches get stitches. Period. May you get stitched in the name of Jesus Christ because you want to show off. It's not about hatred. It's not about racism. It's about the truth. It's about the black person always matching for rubbish when nobody ever matched for you. Why don't you match for one another? Because we are human beings too. Idiot. So for those of you who are offended, I beg I say again, idiots be offended. No problem. Now the Lord not offended with me. Had they be fine. If the Lord offended with me, mm, I bow down and go and correct myself. But if you, human being, be offended with me, I don't care if you're a music director, music mogul. If you want, start gang gang on me. Don't worry. Full armor of the Lord of my life. I also do gang gang in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. You will see me show up where you challenge me because that's where my Father shall be. Shalom, everybody. Have a blessed night and speak the truth. Snitches should get stitches by the Lord in their niash in Jesus' name.